Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. Today, I forget your name, Kevin Tipton. Kevin Tipton, he's the artist right here for the Confederate Monument. I almost forgot. Hello, Kevin. Hey, how you doing? How long have you been painting? Uh, on this or my life? All your life. Uh, started when I was 21. I'm 60 now. Wow. It's a long time. This is part of his artwork here, the Confederate Monument. How many other things have you done? Oh, uh, oh lots of things. Uh, I've painted quite a few big cities and over in Europe for a while. And Sweet. Canada and Mexico. Been everywhere. What is this? Uh, this is going to be the county fair. This will be uh, tractor pools down in the bottom and this upper part, it's all going to be done in uh, fluorescent, uh, so they have a black light on this. Okay. But uh, all this stuff right here, I have to go over it about three or four times, put ultraviolet treatment on it, because uh, that, if I don't do that, it's going to fade out. So this way I do it the way I'm doing it, it's going to last for years and years and years. This whole thing is designed to last at least 100 years. It's uh, everything here from the beginning. I had to acid secure the wall and use uh, extreme dry lock kills too then all the paints I use is uh, like one shot chromatic Ronan paints and uh, then after everything's put on each wall we put four coats of graffiti guard to keep it protected from uh, vandalism. And how does that work? It uh, comes in two parts you mix it up and as soon as you mix it up you got to spray it on real quick because it hardens up so so fast it's like putting a clear sheet of uh, rock on it so if somebody comes out here with a spray can, then what? It wipes right off. Sweet. It's beautiful. Keeping your art yeah, they, uh, they clean for 100, they, uh, 100 years. Yeah, they uh, insisted on it. They're putting all this money into this. And they, uh, uh, Brandenburg and, and uh, Meade County, they're, uh, it's one of the better governments I've ever worked for doing a project like this. Uh, they actually really do care about their people here. They, uh, they uh, go all out, just like this this uh, county fair right here. It's, uh, almost every year he gets awarded as being the best in the state, huh. sometimes the best in the nation. Sweet. So it's uh, uh, their tractor pulls is part of the main circuit of uh, the professional tractor pull people, and this is one of the places they got to get their points. So they got all the big names that come here. That's why it's such a big county fair. And uh, this little picture here would be real crowded. It'd be like hundreds of people on here. And wow. And some people here in the foreground. And it. Uh, and then once that's done, I'll go around the corner and start them three down there in November. And just work all through the winter in plastic and blow heaters and, you know, respirators. And uh, keep the project going until it's finished. I have, to, I have to be on this until it's all done. Well, how, what's your projection on that? I'm thinking around February. Awesome. If, if everything, if it doesn't get real, real bad, but, uh, I think it's going to be pretty mild all the way up to Christmas time. And after that, you know, just kind of. It's going to be a crazy winter. Yeah, you never know. That's my prediction. You never know. So, Kevin? Yeah, this is one of my bosses right here. That's Patsy. She's one of the city commissioners. Real nice lady. She's helping to fund you for all this beautiful artwork? Yeah. She's the lady who got me the job here. Hello and welcome. And this is her this is her little child here. I know. Do they, do they get coffee on my own? Okay, I'm gonna end it right there.